Okay, so this is the larynx model. However, we're starting with um, a bone, the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone is number one. This is the whole bone, okay, all of this. And then we're gonna label two structures. We're gonna label the greater horn, number three right here, but it's all of this, okay, greater horn. And then number two is the lesser horn, okay? And then we can do the lateral right here, the lateral hyothyroid ligament. The ligaments on here are the brighter white color. Um, and we can do the thyrohyoid muscle, which is right here. Okay, it tells me it connects the thyroid um, cartilage and the hyoid bone, as this connect to the hyoid bone and the thyroid cartilage as well. And we can do the thyroid cartilage. Okay, number 14 is the whole piece, the whole thyroid cartilage. Number 15 is the thyroid protuberance, okay, or the laryngeal protuberance actually over the thyroid cartilage. Okay, 15. And then we can do the horns of this one. Well, it's labeled on the other side, but this is the inferior horn of the thyroid, and this is the superior horn of the thyroid. Okay, those numbers are actually over here. The inferior horn is 16, and the superior horn is up here. 17 um, and then actually that's not okay then, then that we can do the tubercles here on this side um, this is the superior thyroid tubercle 18 and the inferior thyroid tubercle 19 and 20 is that oblique line okay that connects those diagonal line that connects those two pieces okay and then we're going to move to um, the median cricothyroid ligament, and that is right here. It's labeled 22. It's actually this white, okay, medium cricothyroid ligament. This is the cricoid, and this is the thyroid, okay, so it's um, binding those two cartilages. And then, so this is, 23 is the cartilage that we call the cricoid cartilage. 24 is the arch, that's the anterior surface. Okay, 24 is the arch. And then 25 is back here. Um, no, 20, the lamina is this back flat area. Okay, so the lamina of the thyroid is the flat, um, lamina is plate-like, so flat plate-like back of the cricoid. And then the thyroid articular surface is right here, where the thyroid and the cricoid articulate, okay, where those meet. And then the arytenoid articular surface is here, okay, so 27 right here, where the arytenoids rest, okay, or meet that um, cricoid cartilage. And then the cricothyroid muscle, okay, back to here, um, and do 28 and 29, these are the crico thyroid muscles that join the cricoid cartilage to the thyroid cartilage. And then the arytenoid cartilages will come back here again. These are the arytenoid cartilages. These are the ones that swivel. We talked about this being a synovial joint, okay, here between the cricoid and the arytenoids. And so those are number 32, but we would want to, you know, just note the whole, the whole piece is the um, arytenoid cartilages. And then the corniculate cartilages are the ones on top. These tiny little pieces named for corn, number 33. And then thyroarytenoid muscle, it's gonna be right here. Okay, thyroarytenoids are right here, 30 and 31. Um, and those join the, the um, wait, what am I doing? Yeah, thyroarytenoid, so thyroid to the arytenoids. And then we can do um, the vocal ligament. Okay, so the vocal ligament is labeled 39. It's this inner area right here. We would call the true vocal cords. 40 is called the elastic cone. It's this outer area on both sides we would call false vocal cords. Um, and then this is the epiglottis. Okay, I'll remove the epiglottis. This is the piece of elastic cartilage. Okay, so 49 labels the piece of cartilage, the epiglottis. 51 is what we call the petiole or the stalk, okay, that supports, you know, so it's connected um, <clears throat> to the rest of the larynx. 
Um, and then we have the tubercle. It's back here, 52 raised area, okay, tubercle. And then 50 is the lamina, this flat plate-like area. It's the lamina. Okay, we'll put that back in place. Um, and I have skipped, I do believe, the thyroarytenoids, thyroarytenoids here. Okay, thyroid um, 37, and it connects right here, the thyroarytenoids, okay, that way. And make sure we did cricoarytenoids for 30 and 31. Cricoarytenoids, joining the cricoid and the arytenoids. And then we can do tracheal cartilage um, here. Tracheal, this is my, our first C ring. So 53 first C ring tracheal cartilage, that would be the second one. Uh, and then we can do the annular ligament right here, 54. And then we'll come over here and get the cricotracheal, okay, cricotracheal ligament here, 55. And then the membranous portion of um, the trachea is back here. So it's where the C rings are open. We talked about that being elastic um, tissue and um, smooth muscle in there, trachealis smooth muscle. So we'll just say membranous portion of trachea here.